Undoubtedly the most important part of good weightlifting technique is timing. You see timing everywhere from gymnastics to track and field and sprinting. The way we move from key positions gives us insight to not only the strengths we have, but also allows us to exploit these strengths so that we can have the most efficient technique for any one individual. When lifters delay the extension of their knee in the snatch or clean, or stay planted and flat footed in the jerk or avoid pressing early, these are all variables in technique which can help us create better timing in our lifting. A great example of this timing is Anton Plesnoy's clean, where he doesn't complete his knee extension in the pull, but has enough drive to receive the clean in an upright position, which is fast and explosive. He's strong enough, however, to send enough power into the bar by doing this, and if he was to be coached to overpull the bar or to triple extend, as it's commonly referred to, then it's likely that the timing of this lifting would be out of sequence and potentially negatively impact his lifting. This shorter knee extension provides Anton with a faster transition under the bar, opposed to a more fuller knee extension, which can produce more force, but as a result, is slower in transition. In the case of weightlifting, if we can still produce a lot of force in this shorter extension, then we're going to have more time to get under the bar. This is sometimes where we see lifters go wrong when they're learning weightlifting and are coached to overpull or stay up there for too long in their snatch on clean and then still result in the bar ending up in front or the bar crashing on them in a clean. Sometimes the pull isn't the only variable that we're looking for when we're after really efficient weightlifting. The same things can also be said when lifters are trying to be too fast or too explosive and attempt to cut the pull short and don't drive at all in the pull or when they come onto their toes early in the drive phase of the jerk or press early as they try and drive the bar overhead for a jerk. So what can you do to improve your timing for your weightlifting? Due to your individual strengths, where you create the strongest and most powerful position is unique to you. As a coach, I find it useful to practice with blocks and pull from the hang positions and encourage technique changes here, which will translate to the floor when learning weightlifting movements. This video is simply to remind you that next time you're looking at your lifts after you've just completed a session and you're reviewing them on your phone, try and avoid looking at what your big toe is doing and how perfectly symmetrical the bar is overhead and try and focus on the big rocks like timing and find what works for you so you can create your own individual technique, which is efficient and allows you to repeat lifts and make your lifting more consistent. If you like this video and you like weightlifting content, I have a bunch more videos on the channel that I think you would like. I'll link the playlist on the screen right now so you guys can follow along and learn more about weightlifting from the videos I've made. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.